So today I'm talking a little bit about a Columbus Chill donation that we got in recently, the Columbus Chill Photograph Collection. And this was actually donated to us by the former general manager and president, David Pateson, who um, started the Columbus Chill and first hired the, the coach in 1991. It's the first season that the Columbus Chill played. And this is just the photograph of the first team picture. Many of these players actually ended up going on to work in the NHL, being coaches and players um, later on. First coach was Terry Roskowski, and he was a 15-year vet of the NHL. And what I love about the Chill is that it was sort of this marketing campaign that sort of went viral before viral was a thing. And they were just known as sort of this sort of ragtag group of, of minor league hockey players, and they just had this huge cult following. Um, they played in a small ice rink in the Coliseum down at the State Fairgrounds, um, which used to be for boxing matches and wrestling matches and things of that nature. But when the Chill took it over, they really took over that space and just became this really fan favorite. I guess the interesting thing about the Columbus Chill is that as a kid, I remember seeing the merchandising and seeing all the commercials and not being a hockey fan, but being really interested in it because of their rabid fan base. My dad even actually had a Columbus Chill hat, and my, never, my dad never talked about hockey in his life. So they, apparently the marketing campaign works because my dad even had a Columbus Chill hat. I still see shirts today, so something that stayed, stayed in the Columbus sort of psyche for a really long time. And they were just so popular that they ended up getting an NHL team out of it because they were such a rabid fan base that the NHL saw that we could have a team here, a major league team. Um, and that's how we ended up getting the, um, the Blue Jackets. And David Pateson, who was the general manager and president, actually ended up working for the Blue Jackets. Yeah, I just think it's a, a great story of sort of the little engine that could. And it was just great because it's a hometown team and actually got Columbus excited about hockey. If you enjoy Ohio Snapshots in Time, please like, share, and subscribe. Ohio Snapshots in Time is produced by WOSU Public Media in partnership with the staff of the Columbus Metropolitan Library.